I don't know, but I'm not sticking around to find out. It's too fast! Ah! What about Green? Should we help him? He's a goner. Maybe we can still make it. Oh! Orange, don't stop running. It'll catch you next. What did I just say? What's everybody yelling about? You're the one I've been hunting for. The evil genius that turned me into this and ruined my life forever. Back before I was transformed into this monstrosity, I was a humble painter. Nothing fancy. Every day I would sit on our porch and paint the ocean. It soothed me. It made me feel whole. I dreamed of becoming a world-famous artist, seeing my work in museums, in galleries, selling it for tens of thousands of dollars. But that would never happen. Or at least it won't now. Painting didn't prove to be as much of a moneymaker as I had hoped. I was a great artist, but making a living was hard. And after a while, I lost more money than I had made. My house was bursting at the seams with boxes full of my unsold art. No one wanted to buy them because they said I used too many colors and the landscapes were unrealistic. I could barely stand to look at it. I was a total failure, a fact my wife wouldn't let me forget. Just like my paintings, the bills started piling up too. My wife was working two jobs trying to help us make ends meet, but it still wasn't enough. She started to resent me, and I don't blame her. I would resent me too. I felt like a freeloader trying to make my impossible dreams come true while she kept us afloat. She demanded that I get a real job that actually brings in money. So I decided to become a fisherman and sell my catches at the local farmer's market since I love the ocean so much. I liked being on the water, but each day away from painting on my canvas felt like torture. I wanted to draw and be creative. The boat was dreary and muted. I wanted to live a life of vivid rainbow colors. So, against the best wishes of my boss, I started sneaking my art supplies on the boat and painting something new every day, each better than the last. But that made me start to neglect my duties as a fisherman. I barely caught anything, and what I did catch was small and sickly. No one would pay good money for it. So I decided to go further down the coast for some bigger catches. I went way far away from the usual fishing spots. Out so far, I almost made it to Oddworld. It was just downstream of the Rainbow Friends play place. And, believe it or not, it worked! The fish looked a little strange to me. But they got the job done. It was a bountiful day at sea, just in time for the farmer's market the next day. I was ecstatic. If I could bring in enough money, I'd be able to pay the bills, and my wife might finally forgive me. I was ready to make bank. But it seems that folks were a little put off by the fish's appearance. They say any publicity is good publicity, right? Well, it turns out that's not true. Everyone was grossed out by the strange fish, and I didn't have a single customer. I didn't even sell an anchovy. But hey, at least I had dinner for a while. I, for one, didn't care about how the fish looked. After all, it tasted the same to me. But my wife felt differently. She refused to eat it. She said I was somehow even a worse fisherman than a painter. I felt horrible. I couldn't provide anything for her. Not even one measly meal. After that, things got pretty bad between us. But on top of it, I started feeling strange. I was feeling a lot angrier than usual. But I was also feeling a lot stronger. Meanwhile, the fish got weirder and weirder. They started to be larger and even more colorful. Unnaturally colorful. I'd never seen anything like it, but they were all I could catch. The pollution in the area was already pretty bad, but this seemed different somehow. With no one buying my fish, I was forced to get rid of my inventory as best I could. At least they didn't go to waste. Even with everything falling apart, I kept painting. It was the only thing that brought me peace, but even that started to feel different. I couldn't get the strange fish out of my head. It's like my mind was consumed with colors, and the pictures in my head became harder and harder to paint. And my anger continued to get worse, almost uncontrollably. 
I just started calling it abstract. A few days in, I threw caution to the wind and entered an art fair. The grand prize was a thousand dollars. And boy, could I use that money. I'd be able to pay off some of our debts, save our house, save my marriage even. But as hard as I tried, I didn't even place. Clearly, these idiots had no idea what true art was. I was overcome with rage, and I lost control. I went on a total rampage, ruining everyone else's art out of jealousy, destroying the entire bear. That day ended up being the worst of my life. After that, things fell apart completely. I lost my wife. I lost the house, and I could feel myself losing my humanity as well. I didn't even want to paint anymore. Why would I? I'd never be any good. So that night, I went to the only place that ever helped me clear my head. This colorful pollution of some kind. It had almost taken over the ocean near us. I was beginning to come ashore. Who could do such a thing? Dumping waste and chemicals into the ocean. Where we get our food. Where some people get their livelihood. Where there were living creatures. But this wasn't your regular trash or oil spill. I had no idea what on earth it was. What's happening to me? <laughs> What's happening to me? Somehow the colors, something took over me. I felt power coursing through my veins, a dark power. All I wanted was my old life back, but instead I became a monster. I was terrified, I was confused, I was angry. I needed to find the source and exact my revenge upon whoever did this to me. And the colors led back here. It seemed as though someone had been dumping them into the ocean. Fine, I admit it. It's all my fault. I attempted to make a device that would split the color from a rainbow friend so I could transform myself back into a human. But alas, no matter how many times I tried, it wouldn't take enough color. I tried it on the other rainbow friends too, but with no luck. Needless to say, I ended up with a lot of extra color. I had to dispose of them somehow, and I couldn't just throw suspicious barrels of toxic color into the dumpster. It was you! You did this to me! I didn't know that would happen. I figured if the colors were extracted, they wouldn't have any powers anymore. And you should have known better than to eat radioactive fish. Liar! You're trying to trick me! I'm not! I know what it's like to want to be human again! That's why I created the color splitter in the first place! You said it yourself. It doesn't work! And that's what got me into this mess! You can't fool me! You did this to me! You really thought you could run from me? Want it? Come and get it. Hello? Are you there? Finally, it worked. You're free from the grasp of the rainbow. Perhaps now I can even set myself free. How did it feel? Did it hurt? How does it feel to be human again? I guess I'll never find out.